be trying to study some this morning in the book of 2 Timothy 3 concerning the times so we know it uh, we've read it we've reread it and we've reread it but we still need to uh, we still need to study it but in, in 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 Timothy, uh, he's writing, Paul writing to Timothy, and he, uh, he starts out this uh, third chapter, this, no also. And he is, he is talking about future tense here uh, because he says in the last days. Bad. And uh, if we're not living in the last days, we're getting pretty close to them. And we, we need to realize that... Uh, Things are not going to get no better, uh, I, as far as uh, I can understand God's word, because it says uh, that uh, men will wax worse and worse, being deceiving and being deceived. And so he says in verse one of chapter three, "This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come." And this this uh, uh, perilous is a is a is a danger. It's called it's, it's See, uh, danger, and we know that the the danger is out there already, and so we we have to conclude then that this is the last day because it is dangerous out uh, in the world because of the all the uh, things that are going on and all of the uh, stuff that is being taught, all the things that's bad practice. Uh, I've never in my life, uh, of course you know it, but I've never in my life seen as much uh, uh, praise uh, and uh, uh, sorrow for uh, the things that are going on in, in the sinful world. The, uh, the homosexuals are uh, there, the people are just uh, going to wild and saying, oh, we feel so sorry for them and all this. Well, listen, uh, it's, that's, that's the last days, that's parallel times. Yeah. And so uh, we we have to think about this, but it says uh, here that for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right. And of course, we know that's that's one of the things that uh, is most prevalent right now is they 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 want what they they want everything and they love one another and 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 it says they'll be lovers of their own selves and covetousness, bolsters proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And these are some of the things that we have as a child have been taught that especially uh, obeying our parents. And then, you know, when, when you get to the point where that people don't love their parents, uh, then you're getting to the, to the really the deceitful part of this, of this thing because it's this disobedient to parents. And we've always... Uh, I've always loved my parents, and and uh, and I know that most of the people have always been taught to love their parents. Right. But now, what's causing this love to fall away is that the parents don't love their children, and uh, they cast them out and uh, just let let them run and let them just get them by with everything and what uh, uh, what they can do, they do. And so here we see that they're disobedient to parents, unthankful. And unholy, and of course, what else can you say? Uh, how how can anybody get any uh, more sinful than to be uh, uh, not lovers of their parents and unholy? But notice, without natural affection, and we 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 we've, we've said talked about this and talked about this, but it's it's natural affections for not only for uh, uh, what we. What we should be doing, or what we should want to do, but it's natural affection for everything. And and he gives an example of truce breakers, false accusers, incontinence, fierce, fierce despisers of those that are good. And I got to look in this morning and as I studied that that chapter at verse there with this incontinent. And we know about incontinence, and we know that people. Uh, 
get to the point sometimes where that they cannot control their bodies. Right. Well, this is, a, this is not talking about the uh, uh, liquids that come off of your body or whatever, but this is talking about the mouth. Mm -hmm. This is talking about they can't control it. And people, that's what's, that's what's going on right now. People are, are truce breakers and they're, they're, they're false accusers and they cannot control their mouth, but whatever. And, and the thing of it is, uh, you know, uh, we, we think about uh, what James uh, said about uh, some of the things about the tongue. And uh, if you, I wanna, I wanna try to turn over and just read just a little bit of it. Maybe it'll, it'll get you, give you a little bit more of a thought. But in, in James, in James three, it says here, uh, brethren, be, in verse one, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in the word. The same as a perfect man, and able also to drive his own body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole bodies. Behold, also the ship, ships which, through, though they be so great and are driven by fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small hound, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so, the tongue is a little member. And boasts of three things, behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And this morning, as we as we uh, read what uh, Paul is writing to Timothy, uh, James agrees with him, and he just brings it out a little bit clearer when he's saying uh, that uh, people can't control they can't control their they can't control their tongue, they can't control their thoughts. Uh, and you know, you know, I. I got to think, well, I, 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 I'd rather think something and say it. But listen, you know, it's dangerous to think things. Right. Because the thing of it is, there's a seed there that's being planted. When you see something and you think something and you say, well, I didn't say anything about it. Well, that's good. But the thing of it is, if that seed's planted there, it's going to start growing. And uh, first thing you know, you're going to be like the, the, the one in, in James here. Hey, your mouth is flopping and you can't control it. And uh, it's, it's sin. It's sin for, for a person to do this. And, and this is why Paul is writing to Timothy about the, the, the last days being, being perilous times. Because it is perilous Amen. times. And this is, one of the, this is one of the outstanding things that you can... Uh, if you watch television any at all, uh, and you don't have to go over here to some of these uh, late night shows to see what's going on in the world, you watch the news. Watch, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, they, they can't ad advertise a, a, a can of spam without showing naked women. They right. Can't, they can't say nothing without uh, being vulgar. And everything has got this, this thing around it. And, and this, is, this is the perilous time, but he says here, uh, 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 fierce and despisers of those that are good, mm -hmm. and uh, people, uh, you, you know, and Brother Larry's brought it out time too uh, about you've got enemies out there. Uh, you've got people out there that despise you because your stand is for the Lord Jesus Christ. Your stand is that you've been saved and that you're going to heaven. Your 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 stand is that that uh, you're living. Uh, as best you can and you don't want to partake of their faults listen they hate you for it Amen. and uh, they will criticize you and this is what he's saying here uh, 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 traitors in verse 4 he says traitors and then the headed and this headed I looked, at, looked this up and it's, it's rushing into something without uh, thinking about it or without consideration Headed, they're 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 headless in in some words. They're they 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 lose their head. They go into things that's, and and say things that they don't even know what they're talking about. Right. And uh and and this is is this is just another incontinent thing that the, the body has that uh, the devil is using, and uh, he he's using it well. Uh, all even to even to the uh, uh, the people that. Uh, 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 that are say they're standing for the Lord, and uh, they're having uh, 
children uh, and they have these uh, uh, vacation Bible schools and they, and, they, and, they, and they say, oh, we're teaching the children. Well, look at the pictures. Mm -hmm. Look at the pictures are flashing on on the uh, computer. Look at uh, what's what's going right. on. You don't you, you know you, you don't you don't. And, and the Bible says there can can uh, uh, fresh water and, and, and salt water run out of the same stream. No, but he can't. Right. Amen. So listen, you, you determine. You look at these things and and you see how it is the last days and how the people are being deceived and how they are deceived. And uh, you, you see this this headed and high minded and lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And, and you take a you take a bunch of uh, little children out there, five, six years old, four years old, and put them put them in a in a in a, in a, in a classroom in a church, and you give them cookies and you give them uh, drinks and stuff like this, and maybe just maybe there, there might be a Bible there. But if not, they got comic books or whatever that they right. want to use for. But listen, they're being deceived, and uh, and that's why when they grow up, they don't have to hear anything about their children. And that's what's happening right now with all of these all of these children that are being aborted, with all of these children that are, that are being sent to these homes and nobody to take care of them. Uh, they they're being mistreated. That's exactly what it has. It's two or three generations already Amen. that have forgotten their children and have turned them out and let them go. And so this is this is this is the last days. And notice here what he says here. He says in verse five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Now, if you're having a form of godliness, a form is not the real McCoy. Mm -hmm. And that's, again, that's what we're seeing going on in our churches, people. Uh, if, it was, if, it was, if it was in the nightclubs or uh, places where that evil was, you know, we expect it. But listen, we expect when we send one of our children to, the, to a church and they invite that child to come to church and uh, uh, they, they teach them this stuff and they, they put them in their little bathing suits and they send them out and they right. flounce around in these pools and all this and, and, and besides that take their pictures mm -hmm. and let some old booger look at it and lust after them. Amen. And, and the thing of it is they're, they're exposing their bodies to all of this and, and they're saying, hey, we're godly. We're godly. No, they're not godly. Amen. And I got news for them. If anybody, if any of them ever watches this, uh, I hope they do. Listen, you better get you better get things straight between you and the Lord because you're in the wrong. Amen. And, and that that thing don't need to happen. And we're we're just seeing it. Just it's just coming in on us, a hand over fist, and we can't. And and it's got to the point where that there's no stopping it. So he says here, having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Amen. Don't, don't you you be careful. You that have children, and I know you will. But I'm saying this to anybody that hears this out on the airwaves or whatever. If you've got children, you and you care anything about those children, you better watch where you're letting these, people, these godly people they call themselves let them let them teach you because teach them because listen, they're ungodly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and I'm not saying that covers goals for everybody, but that's the reason why I'm saying you need to watch it because it's it's a damnation to your child. Amen. It's a, it's a hindrance. So he said here in uh, in uh, verse six, <clears throat> for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead sit captive silly women laden with sin, led away with divers lust. And you know, these are these are these are those the deceivers. Those are the ones that we have to uh, that are at work in these 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 days. They're the ones that are of the devil. They are the ones that are that says here that they they creep in uh, into houses and lead captive silly women. Uh, and and listen, I, the the word women. Uh, it don't just mean that the women, because listen, people, we've got just as many silly men out there, if not more. I'm telling you, because 
men, men have a tendency to be silly too, but anyway, there's a danger out there, and this is the warning for them. And so he says here in verse 7, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning. You, uh, you say, well, you know, these people, oh, I read my Bible and I go to church and I do this. Well, according to this, uh, in, the, in this condition, they can read the Bible all they want to. Uh, they can go to church every Sunday. They can go to church every Wednesday night. But listen, it says you're ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And so what? why are they not coming to the knowledge of the truth? Well, one reason is because they've got pastors in the, behind the pulpit that is preaching everything except what they should hear. Amen. And listen, it's the same way with, with these little children that are going to these these camps and to these Bible places, uh, teaching them the Bible. Listen, they're hearing everything, they're seeing everything, they're being exposed to everything. And listen, a little child has no has no way of understanding that they can put on a little bathing suit and jump in a pool of water and it, it's not right. But listen, they're being exposed. Amen. And so you need we need to be we need to be busted in, in prayer for these things and and and, and tell every ha every time you have an opportunity tell tell these people be careful because your children you you take them down and leave them and they're being exposed. It's the same way with over here at these schools. They're being exposed. Amen. And uh, you wonder sometimes you listen to one of these little youngers saying cussing and rearing and, and doing things and disobedient and all this. Where in the world did that come from? I didn't teach you that. No, you might not have, but you didn't keep them from being taught. Right. And so here we see, here we see the situation. Now, here as now in verse eight. Now as as Jambre, Jambres, Jam, Jan, Janus and Jambres withstood Moses. So do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt mind, reprobates concerning the faith but they shall proceed no further for their folly for their folly shall manifest unto all men as there also was but that thou hast fully known my doctrine manner of life purpose faith long suffering charity patience persecution afflictions and which came to me at Antioch and I was looking at this thing these things at, at, at uh, in Acts, I want to read just a few things from uh, uh, Acts 5, if you do, if you want to turn or if you just want to listen. But I, I read some stuff here that Paul went through. And, uh, you know, the, the persecution that, that he had then, is, he said it was bad. But but uh, right now, we it, he's, he's warning Timothy, he said, uh, 5, 5, 13. He's, he's saying it's going to get worse. But in verse 13... Uh, um, I'm, I got that wrong somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong verse. Acts 13. Acts 13. One. Let's look at that and see what, what we come up with here. Acts 13. Uh, notice, I think it's good. <coughs> Uh, I don't know if it is or not. I'm sorry. I, 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 I thought I had it marked right, but it was in, it's an act somewhere. That, but but anyway, Paul had all of these persecutions on him. I thought what, the point I wanted to bring to you was this morning. Paul had all of these per, all of these persecutions on him. He was shipwrecked. He was beaten. He was he was uh, drug out for dead, and all of these things. But he's he's warning uh, he's warning Timothy to preach. But in the last days, perilous times are going to come. And so, if 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 they did that to Paul, if they if they did that to one of God's men, then you can imagine how 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 much worse it's going to get in the last days. And so that's that, that was what I wanted to say. But in back in our back in our lesson this morning in, in verse twelve, notice, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Amen. And so that's that. This morning, uh, uh, what can I say? But uh, persecution is something that goes along with serving the Lord. It goes along with it, and uh, because that's what what's, that's what God's word says. But we need to, uh, if we can, uh, be happy with it. 
uh, and, and I know that's that's something that uh, don't sound right, but the thing of it is, listen, it's good evidence this morning if you're being persecuted. Right. Uh, it's good evidence that you're you're serving the Lord. And I, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have uh, I have uh, things to, things to happen and things to come along in my mind. I say, well, you know, Lord. Uh, uh, Sometimes I say, "Well, uh, are you really? Are you really with me? Are you helping me? Are you? Or am I? Am I in the right mind?" But listen, it's 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 that away. Mm -hmm. And uh, these persecutions don't get discouraged with these persecutions because uh, be happy. Uh, sickness comes, uh, uh, whatever comes. Listen, it's it's for, it, it, it'll it'll draw you closer to the Lord. Because when you get down and out, and when you get to the point where you're you're feeling sorry for yourself, if you would, you got to go to someone yeah. that, uh, that will that will that will help you out. And uh, this is this is something that you need to try to use instead of of, of feeling sorry for me for yourself and saying, "Oh me, uh, uh, woe is me," because uh, that may be the reason for the persecution. Is to draw you closer to him and say, "Hey, now I'll show you what I can do for you," because uh, uh, he can. Amen. I'm, I'm here to say he can do it. And so uh, uh, again, this is this. Uh, notice again in verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving. And being deceived. So now, if they're if they're deceiving, who's going to deceive them? Mm -hmm. The devil. The devil will deceive them because he, the the ones that is deceiving other people, is the worker for the devil. And the devil will just encourage that person. The devil will help that person to deceive. And and that's the reason why they. That it's getting in the church is so bad because the devil understands and knows that a person in the church, uh, people still think that they're they're really holy and above board and and they're godly. And and if you get these if you get these false accusers and these these deceivers in the church, then he can use them more. So be careful uh, about how that you're. Uh, you're listening to people and depending upon people because uh, so many people are deceivers. Mm -hmm. And but, but in verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So here's our here's our answer to uh, of our children being deceived. Teach them right. Amen. And uh, I would suggest this: just you hold them, hold them close to you, and don't don't let don't let don't let people have too much authority over them. And and the homeschooling is one of them. Amen. Uh, and, and taking them to church. And listen, if if you know, it's it's very it's very it's a very risky thing this morning to let your children go to other churches uh, without you being there. So if you Amen. if you want if you want to let one go to another church because they got friends on there, I would suggest that that you be sure and go along with them. I don't think it's, it's a good idea to let sister so and so pick your right. children up and carry them to. Uh, another place and uh, you don't know what's going on because it don't take it don't take very many seed being planted in that child mind before he's going some wild herbs and some bad stuff mm -hmm. and so this is some of the things that i felt like it would be interesting for us to consider this morning and we'll read the rest of this in uh, in verse 16. all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So Amen. hang in there, study your Bible, take care of those children, take care of your loved ones that you have that 
uh, might not be uh, in the will of the Lord. There might be some that's still not saved, and we we need to we need to continually uh, remind them and to uh, set an example before them because uh, it won't be many years till uh, they'll be old enough to be saved, and, and uh, we'll be thankful that we that we set that example before. Thank you all. Amen.